thank Hashem that we are Shluchim of the Rebbe for 32 years here in Los Angeles. you the following incident. Someone once told me that he met my parents, Rabbi Amitai and Faye Yamini, when they first arrived in Los Angeles. He asked them, what are your visions and goals? And they answered, we want to make a difference, an impact. Our dream is to build a center where Jews of all affiliations and backgrounds will feel at home and proud of their Jewish identity. A summer camp, a school, a Hebrew school for Jewish children to thrive and grow with joy and pride. And he was thinking how a couple without any money and contacts who doesn't know anyone here can have such grandiose plans. Shalom to all the chavarim from the Merkaz Israeli in Los Angeles on a special occasion of Lamed Bet 32 years. I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Rabbi Yamini and his staff and really all of you for supporting for so many years the uh, program of sending Shalach Manas from the people in Los Angeles to the soldiers in Hebron. There's no words to describe how these soldiers appreciate the fact that they feel that they are guarding the city of Aravot, Hebron, not only for the people living there or the people coming to visit, they're also representing and guarding the city for the Jews all over the world. By giving them Ishlach Manot that's coming from people from Los Angeles, this is something that instills this feeling and is a great excitement. Thank you again. We hope to see you all in Washington. My name is Rabbi Asher Yemini, and I am a Jewish chaplain here at the Federal Correctional Institution, Terminal Island. I've been coming here approximately three years, and we come here every single week. We give a Torah class, say a communal prayer together, and we try to take care of all the religious needs of the Jewish inmates here at Terminal Island. person, regardless of what his crime may be, is entitled to uh, learn Torah, to participate in the Minyan, to have a Shabbos Kiddush and Chala, and to have a, a Jewish religious holiday. So we, chaplains, including Aleph, help the Jewish inmates to be able to celebrate a Jewish holiday or Shabbos, and to be able to learn Torah, to be able to have a, a davening service, a, a Jewish service. Over the years, Chabad Israel Center has hosted unique evenings with different and thought-provoking speakers. Just recently, we were privileged to hear Richard Bernstein, an activist lawyer, an advocate for the handicapped, himself born blind. The memory of Ariel Sharon as he spoke at two gatherings we organized are especially poignant at this time. In Chabad we believe, learn it, live it, love it. Joyce Lipinski. I'm on the board of a nonprofit called Urban Farming, urbanfarming.org. 
we do and what we've done is help people establish gardens on vacant lots and at their homes and at schools, as we have here at Gan Kabad Preschool. This is one of our most successful gardens. We've had a garden here that's only about six foot by six foot in measurement, like a little sandbox. And if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. And every season, we have planted fruits and vegetables organically in this garden. And the kids have watered every single day. And they take care of it and they grow and they learn how to grow. So what we're doing now is we've just grown broccoli, uh, chard, radishes, lettuces, and the kids, when you grow it, you eat it. And they're clamoring for broccoli. Part of our model is to grow some and give some away. So that's what we do and that's what the school is doing. They're growing some for the kids and for the kids to bring home and for them to give to, in particular, our location is to the Westside Food Bank. So that's what we do. And this is a beautiful school and my heart is with this school. They're friends of mine. I'm really, really happy and proud of them for doing the work teaching the kids and year after year and season after season they do it without fail and they learn so much. Hi, my name is Levi Mishalovin and I've been a part of this community shul for uh, ever since day one. I uh, have a little daughter who comes and enjoys the Minyan and the Shabbos very, very much. And we come as a family, as a community, where we can enjoy it, play together, sing together, laugh together. About five years ago, when I first moved to the uh, Pico Robinson area, I visited a few different shuls and had a great experience in many different shuls, but ever since joining the library shul, I, uh, I felt much more at home, much more of a, a community, a, a sense of belonging that I can sit and enjoy the, the Shabbos afternoon with friends, with people my age. I can talk, schmooze, network. So many great things have come from just joining this minion, being part of this community, whether it's uh, in the daily morning, uh, for Sunday morning minion, or Shabbos afternoon having a Fabrangan and the rabbi speaking. It's, it's been a, a, a home away from home for me. Filled to capacity with a waiting list, Gan Chabad is an amazing place for a Jewish child. Hi, my name is Davina Amrami. I'm a parent um, of a pre one a student here. And my kids have all come here for preschool. Um, what can I say? The Yaminis themselves are amazing, wonderful, warm, nurturing people. Um, the staff here at Gan Chabad also warm and nurturing. They really care about the children. They really love the children. They get to know each child, each, um, each of the children's strengths, and really get involved in how you know, and work together with parents on how to further their experience here in Gan Chabad. I am so happy with the education that my son is getting here. He is reading Alphabes and English letters. He is reading complete sentences, three letter words and sight words. Um, he is so proud of himself because he's able to do it. Mrs. Yamini and the Yamini girls are so dedicated to the PTA. There's so much thought and love and passion that goes into planning all of the events. Um, they are always one step ahead of the game and really put put so much thought into planning the events to make it a warm, they, at the 
the ultimate goal is to make it a warm environment um, and inviting for the parents. This is really a family. Every summer, Camp Gan Israel of Los Angeles and Beverly Hills instills in Jewish kids a deep sense of pride in their Jewish heritage and a love for the land of Israel. Weekly Judaic themes are taught through exciting activities, stories, songs, games, and contests, which are part of the unique Gan Israel experience. Many a child has been known to wait all year to come back to Gan Israel. From Mini Gan Ezi to our CIT division, campers enjoy a wide range of activities, field trips, and a warm and vivacious atmosphere. Camp Gan Ezi, the summer experience. So a lot of times, um, a lot of my friends um, ask me why I send my children to um, Westside um, Hebrew School, which is run by Chabad, because they automatically think, um, you know, if it's Chabad, it's, you know, for, for Jewish families that are very, very religious. And um, we are not very, very religious, but, um, you know, very proud to be Jewish. And it's actually um, the opposite of what you might think. Um, what's really beautiful about um, the people at Chabad is that they are so welcoming to to everyone, no matter how religious you are. And if anything, um, what they really try to do is try to inspire, um, you know, my family and my children um, to really love Judaism in a more authentic way. And my kids absolutely love love going. And most of the families that go there are just like us. Um, they, you know, they are growing and learning every day, and um, you know, just becoming a little bit more familiar with the traditions and, and uh, learning to love it. And it's really, really beautiful. My kids really look forward to going to Cuba school every week. I hear from so many of my friends that their children dread it. And there's something that happens at Westside Cuba school that is magical. And I, and I, I can't figure out what it is. Because I remember when I had to go to Cuba school as a child, I didn't enjoy it. And my kids literally are upset if they have to miss for any reason if we're going out of town. They're so inspired when they come home. Um, to, to, to see them be able to read Hebrew has been incredible. They're actually learning to, to read Hebrew in the one day a week that they go there. And also, um, you know, learning so much about the different holidays and coming home and then teaching me, which is really beautiful, um, you know, how to make challah, or you know different rituals that you do on uh, different holidays has also been really um, enlightening and beautiful for our family as well and I so appreciate it. 